War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Did you get a haircut yesterday?
What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard? Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Uh... Hey, hon. We should take Cosworth to be service soon, don't you think? Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the speech. On the island of Mamba Jiao, the nights are cold. Unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the 5th Infantry, that's as comfortable as an autumn jamboree. All the easier for our mechanized Hellcast to drive any screaming commie memes right into the pole. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning! vault -Tech calling! vault -Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tech is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning? Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see.
Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hun. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do, have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step this on way. the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. Is here for you. No, no, we don't. Don't get just this way. This one's good. This way, please. 
Step over to the table and take a suit. You'll Just need your way. suits before we can take you uh, further. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Welcome. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father Sir? down in D.C. How, how long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list when they come in. As well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five. There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Do this. Must me Hello? Anyone? They're they're dead. They're all dead. Thank you. 
giant roaches? What the hell? Where is everyone?
Nice. Coming back later for you. Is this all that's left? Anyone get out? Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back.
It's really you. Codsworth. What happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Two hundred years? What? Are you...? A, a bit over two hundred and ten, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house! And the car! The car! How do you polish rust? What do you know, Codsworth? Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! <laughs>
Hey, Codsworth. Sir, don't worry. My search protocols are on full alert. My senses are picking up a unit in another house. Follow me. Codsworth. Sir, the missus and young Sean, they aren't here. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. Last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. There must be someone who can help you in Concord. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay then. Let's stick together.
Help us, please! Got it.
I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. God damn it. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the uh, idea. So I joined uh, up, wanted it. to make a difference. And I did, but things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Maybe. Who are these people? <sighs> nope. Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are... irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Will it be enough to stop those maniacs? Sturgis, tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what! Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a... rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Make it quick. They mass for another attack. Careful, I won't be able kid. To hold it. There's something coming, and and it's it's angry. Ma'am. Now look who Dog Me brought to us. So, he's your dog? Ah, uh, he ain't my dog, no, sir. Dog Me. He's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. You saw it? 
It's the Kems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I see. I, I see. Oh. It's, it's horrible, kid. Claws and teeth and horns. The very face of death itself. all I can manage. That's all. I need to rest now. And you have a job to do. We need help. And we get a vault dweller? What are you going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Bleed to death? <laughs> nice. No, no, no. No, no. Perfect.
Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Mama Murphy. Hey, Sturgis. Can't believe we're still all here in one piece. Bye. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while, anyway. We can at least move someplace safer. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends, the other Minutemen. The ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time, out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just... Feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold on, hold on. Than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. <laughs> Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. We I'm sure owe you. Preston can handle no anything doubt we find about that. until we reach Sanctuary. Get the price we paid to get this far. Let's move out. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss.
glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? So, do you believe in these visions she has? I didn't used to, but how did she know about this place? I think she has some kind of a gift. Best not to ignore it. I mean, look at this place. I really think this could be what we've been looking for. Yeah, I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean, before what war? Are you saying... What do you think I'm saying? Well, that you're from before the war. The Great War. Like one of those old ghouls you sometimes run into. Is that true? Ghouls from before the war? Yeah. I've run into a few that old. I guess ghouls don't really age. Radiation preserves them or something. Obviously you're no ghoul, but the way you were talking made me wonder. That's all. Yeah. Sort of. I was born over 200 years ago, but I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are many men out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. 